Hey guys, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Reading Sim Save. So what we're going to do in this episode is we are going to update our wonderful little Noelle. And we're actually going to update her boyfriend, Dwight. And we're even going to update his daughter, Carly. Because although I love Carly to little hell, I don't think that that's her, in all honesty. Like, I love how Dwight looks. So I'm going to leave his facial and his hair alone but his clothes will change and noelle i believe her makeup will change and her clothes will change i don't know about her hair yet i'm still debating on the hair we'll see how things go i mean i love her hair i love it it's so beautiful so i don't know if i'll change it but we'll see hold on we're gonna see because we do have stuff we can choose from we do, we do, we do. So I think what I'm going to do is if I do change her hair, I kind of want to keep her in the custom content stuff. So this is all her, the custom content hair that I have. So I could put her with this, but this is like that, um, it's the one that's like constantly used. So we're going to take her makeup off. Yes, that's what she looks like without it. Don't ask. I could give her short hair, but I don't, she doesn't look like she's short haired. I can give her extremely long hair, but if anything, the hairstyle walks weird. So I'll give it to like a townie or something. We're using this hair for Madison, as we all know. Because I believe her hair color is this one. Yeah, this is Madison's hair color. So I don't think we're going to use that one. I don't see Noelle with short hair, honestly. I really don't. So... This is her original hair. If I can find something that looks nice with her with short hair, then we might keep it. But that's another short hair piece that I have. I don't like it with her, at least. This I don't like with her either, because look at that. That's not how hair do. That's not how hair do. I mean, it's really cute hair, but that's not how it works. I have this for Yuki in the Madison Sim Save as well. But, I don't know, maybe Noelle can rock, Noelle cannot rock that, I'm sorry, never mind. Uh -huh. This is her hairstyle in a different shade, so I don't think I'm going to go with that one. I don't think so, just because of how it's styled. Mm. And now we see why I don't use a lot of my Sims custom content. I mean, I could probably put her in this. And then maybe give her, like, some hair dye. Can you not freeze, please, when I pick a color? That'd be great. Thanks. Hey, wake up. Thank you. But then that just changes her whole thing, which is annoying beyond repair. Ah. So, I mean, I could do this. Because that's, I don't know, I just want to give her variety now. Maybe I could do that. Like, it's got, like, a bluish tint to the hair. I don't know. No, I think instead of custom content, I think we'll stick out of it. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to give her something nice. Hmm. I kind of want to give her this hairstyle. It kind of suits her, and it's kind of looks a little bit like her old style it's just floofier i'll say floofy it's just a bit floofier so i think yeah i like that oh we gotta remove the makeup on each thing because she doesn't wear it anymore did that even come off yes it did okay oh wrong one this one i don't know what Stuff she's wearing, but okay. No makeup on that one. Remove the makeup. We haven't even seen this outfit yet, so I might. Mm, she lives with a child, though. I can't leave. I can't leave her in that. And then this outfit will change because I don't want her in this thing anymore. So all right. So now we can move on to her clothes. We'll do makeup last, so that way we can match it with our clothes. 
So she's obviously not going to wear this get up anymore. And her backstory, I don't think I ever told you guys that she used to live in San Myshuna with her parents at one point. So, and then she moved out. I believe I might have said something in the first episode. I can't remember. I'll be honest, I can't. And I really don't want to go back and find out. But, um, she's, oh, she lived in San Myshuna for a long time. And she used to have braces when she was little. Which was adorable. Trust me on that. But she actually got them removed and had this glow over, basically. Where she just, everything on her changed. Her body type changed. She used to be uh, pretty uh, big in size. And then she suddenly changed after a few years. Which surprised a lot of people. Including some of her bullies. So that was nice. I don't know what to put her in. Because I'm trying to make it like a little bit um, suitable. Because she's living with a child now. Um, Because if anything, the child doesn't know her that well yet. So I might put her in like an easy sweater or something. Because like, these are new... From like the recent update of The Sims. There's a couple of new clothes. Why am I mentioning the video on TikTok? Oh great. Now I gotta do at something later. <laughs> Before I go to work. Yay. Um, I mean that's kind of cute. What color do I want that in? Because with Noelle. I kind of want to give her like different colored varieties now. Because she's been in black and white the entire time. Since I've made her. So I kind of want to give her um. A different variety of clothes. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put her. Hmm. Trying to see which pants looks good with her. Because there's a lot of pants and I don't know what will go with her and what won't. Um. Although it's cute, I don't think it would go good with that top. Unless I can find it in a different color. No, yeah, it's still not working. Oh, wait, no. Maybe I, yeah, I want to change the top, actually. Well, it's getting difficult. Because <laughs> she just wants to be a simple girl now. But she still wants to have a little bit of style in her clothes. Maybe I can give her this and just put her in white. Because there's a little bit of purple on there and there's a little bit of like a pinkish purple on here. So that might work. Or I can just throw her in there. Or I can give her like the standard shirt that you're technically supposed to wear with this, which is this. Yeah, I could give it to her. I don't want her to be that cliche parent looking parent from the parenthood um, pack. I want her to have like a variety. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, ooh, that looks kind of nice. I think I might keep that, actually. Hmm. If I can't find anything else, I'll go back to that. But first, hmm. No, it's too tucked in. No. Yes, it's simple, but I feel like it's too simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going back to the other shirt. I like that one better. And it's cute, and it's nice, and it's appreciative. Let's see if we can find a different color for it. We might have to stick with blue. Like this faded blue. I kind of like it like that. All right, and now her shoes. Uh, I think we're going to keep her in heels. When I say keep, I mean put her in heels because she's wearing sandals right now. So maybe these ones. Oh, yeah, that looks cute. I love that. That's a cute outfit. 
You give her some accessories. No, no rings. Not yet, at least. <laughs> I'll add the ring um, when she gets married. Her birthday's coming up, and I'm so excited. Oh, that's cute. I don't want it in purple. No, usually I don't put my Sims in bracelets, though. Uh... No, she's fine with that one. All right, moving on. All right, this is not appropriate around a child. I'm sorry. Of course, none of these dresses are appropriate around a child. Well, some of them are, but not all of them. Um, I think I think we're gonna make Noelle a purple girl now. I think she's just addicted to purple. <laughs> just change her heels. She's just colored as purple. <laughs> and yes, at this point, she has told her parents that. She and uh, Augustine did not get along, and he broke up with her on their first date. So, she told them about uh, Dwight and how they hit it off easily, and how she's basically helping him take care of his daughter now. And they're very happy for her that she was willing to take on that responsibility so early in her life. And, if anything... They adore each other's company. Like, they love each other. Like, Noelle will be there for her for anything. No matter what it is. What the fuck do I put you in? What color do I put you in for this? Do I just leave it like that? Because I kind of want that. I kind of like it. Noelle, why do you got to be so difficult? fashion no I don't like that I want something that matches this but it needs to be appropriate so then maybe like a blue and then that no ah don't freeze maybe this blue okay yeah I like that yeah I like that that looks good sure <laughs> This, I mean, it's appropriate. I just, she wants something new. <laughs> she just wants something new. Um. Yeah, me too. Me too, Noelle. Me too. <laughs> hmm. It's <laughs> copying me. Mmm, I like that. That's cute. Little pinkish purple stuff. Okay. That is extremely inappropriate. I actually forgot these were fishnet leggings. I thought she didn't have leggings on for a second. But those are extremely inappropriate. This is extremely inappropriate. So I think what I'm going to do is... Because she understands, like, he's trying to raise his daughter to be... A respected young woman and Noelle was raised to dress however you want and you can get away with it oh my hugs her butt amazingly though <laughs> but she's learning slowly like I can't always dress the way I want because there's a child that I now have under my wing and she's gonna look up to me because I'm the one who's here not her mother so I need to make an executive decision and stop wearing these inappropriate clothes around her or she's going to start thinking it's okay. And so she stood and Dwight is very proud of her for making the decision on her own and not him having to ask her to. Like He's very proud of her. And he understands that it's a big change for her. So he told her, as long as you're careful with what you wear, I don't care what you wear. Like, if you wear, like, jeggings, which is jeans and leggings, if no one knows what that means, even though you should at this point. If you wear those, I'm fine. So she wears them on occasion. 
and bathing suits she asked him at one point he's like um i don't feel comfortable with two piece but if you want to wear it it's fine i don't mind it but she said mm, well if he's not comfortable i'm not going to make him uncomfortable so she put a little overlay over her two piece her new two piece not the old one cuz this does not have the colors for it so she put on an an overpiece and he actually appreciated that he appreciated that she was so willing to dress what he felt comfortable with and although I love this outfit I cannot keep it even though I wish I got to see it but I will at some point I will see it again someday someday so what she did for this one is of course she keeps going to, to Dwight since she doesn't have a kid. She doesn't know how to dress. She doesn't know how to act. So he told her, just wear a dress if you want. I don't care what you wear. So she decided, and she went out and got a pretty nice dream, uh, dream? green dress. And she loves it. She's like, I love this. It fits me. And it hugs me perfectly. She's just, she loves it. And the blue, she's just like, I've worn this for way too long. It's time for a change. So with this one, I'll say she starts wearing like a yellow color for it. Because she's so sick of blue. <laughs> so she's just like, I will wear something else with it. I just don't want to wear that. And for this, like, she wears, um, like, yoga pants because she feels comfortable in them. And she does wear, like, these high tops that go with the jacket very easily. All right, time for makeup. Yay! So, Noelle is very self-conscious without her makeup. She needs her makeup. No matter how many times Dwight's told her that he loves her no matter what, she still feels self-conscious, and she wants that makeup. And she, sh it's just what she's grown up with. It's what she's used to. So although she appreciates Dwight and all he's doing to make her feel like she doesn't need it, it's just something that she's always worn and that she can't get rid of it. Um, she may have to wear this. She doesn't really like wearing those kind of colors right away. So I think I'm going to stick with like a pale color up here. So like something like that. So it's nice and cute. And maybe like a dark color. And as you can tell, I don't wear makeup. <laughs> But most of my sims do because I love how they look with it. So I think, I think I'm going to stick with that. That looks really nice. So now it's purple. Purple, 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 purple. So she wears this one. Oop. That's not purple. That's purple. And she loves the winged eyeliner. So she always does it. And no one's been able to tell her that she doesn't look good with it. Oh my god, this cord is just not working with me on my headphones. <laughs> so with this outfit, she doesn't usually wear me. Oh wait, she still has braces. When the hell did I give her braces? I thought I took those away. Well, we're taking them away now. <laughs> I thought I took those away. Huh. All right, then. I forgot I left those on. Oopsie. <laughs> I was talking about how she used to wear braces. Well, anyway. As I was saying, <laughs> she usually wears, like, these different colors when she, like, works out and stuff. And she doesn't usually wear makeup, although she was wearing it before. Yes, don't judge me. I know what she was wearing. Those are blue. I want green. 
I need a dark green and a light green. She tries to match her colors to whatever she's wearing. Sometimes she doesn't like how it looks, but that actually looks really nice. I like that. That looks good. The only color she won't use is black, because look at that. She, she's told Dwight before, she's like, it makes me feel like I'm eating a mustache. And he thought that was hilarious. So she doesn't wear the makeup for pool for reasons, because she doesn't have um, a makeup holder spray. So she just says, mm, I just won't wear it. I just spit everywhere on my computer. Ew. <laughs> and I just, I love Noelle. She's one of my favorite sims out of every sim I've made in the past. That's not even fully covering her lip. That's not the right color. There it is. Just Noelle is one of the characters I've kept for a really long time. And I would be really upset if I lost her save. So, if anything, I'm not willing to lose this one. If I lose this save, I will be so sad. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. So, please don't make me lose this save, guys. I don't wanna. I've spent so much time in this. Like, it's not even funny. Eh, yellow doesn't look good. There we go, that works. So, here's the new and improved Noelle. She looks amazing. She called her parents. She's like, Mom, Dad, I need, like, a new sense of style because black and white is not going to work with me anymore. And her mom's like, I'm on it, honey. Don't worry. And took her shopping. And this is, these are all the wonderful things that came up. And she bought, her mother bought her new makeup, which is why she's wearing new colors instead of what she was wearing before. And she just, she just looks amazing and I love it. I love her. So now we're going to move on to Dwight. I know I'm taking forever on these, but it's okay. That's your everyday, oh dear. Honey, uh, that's not flying. So Dwight has met her parents already. And they adore him. And they adore, um, they adore Carly as well. So they're like, we will do everything to help you. So don't worry. If you need help, just call us. And he appreciated it. He's like, thank you. I love, I just, it's just that I love your daughter. I don't want to seem rude. And they're, they're telling him, don't worry, you're not seeming rude if you ask us for help. Because we know what it's like. Because both of them separated when Noelle was first born for a little while. And they realized how much they really needed each other. So they got back together. And Noelle never really got to experience having parents being separated from each other. She looks so pale in this. So, oh dear. Honey, what are you wearing? But her mother went through his closet and went, uh, fashion emergency, you need new clothes and everything if you want to date my daughter. And being the gentleman he is, he doesn't want to piss off his might be sooner or later mother-in-law. So he's like, okay, I guess, I guess you can help me. And she loved that idea. She's like, oh, thank you for letting me help you. We will make you look fantastic. So, if anything, she's just throwing him in random stuff to make him look more like a gentleman than what he usually did. Because that is not okay. That is not an okay party outfit. Trust me on that. And she followed, like, what colors he liked the most. And he appreciated that. He appreciates how Noelle is so willing to bend how she usually is to how he needs to be. And he loves how her mom and dad are the same way. He appreciates, oh God, what are you doing? Take those off. <laughs> like, I don't care if you wear, like, 
sunglasses, honey, but that that's not okay. There. And he was always saying that he needed a new lifestyle for his daughter. And then, ba bam, Noelle jumps in and was like, hey, hon, I'm here to help. And he was just so shocked that he got someone like her so easily. And it turns out that, according to Dwight, he had loved her since he met her. So he was pretty jealous of Augustine for a while until he heard that they broke up. And he's like, ooh, this might be my chance. Of course, he didn't take the chance right away because he was scared because he knew that Noelle wasn't telling her parents right away. But eventually he told Noelle, he's like, Noelle, I am in love with you and I want us to be a thing. And she agreed. She's like, yeah, that would be amazing. So even Carly, as soon as Carly met Noelle, she's like, oh, maybe I'll like, what are you wearing, child? Child, what are you wearing? So Carly loves when Noelle plays with her hair. So whenever she wants her hair done, she always goes to Noelle. So basically, Noelle has put her hair in a side braid. So she enjoys it, but she's asked for a recent, like, new change. So now she has curly hair and a pretty blue bow. And she adores it. She's like, oh my god, it's amazing. Thank you so much. I love this. What is this white? Oh, wait, that's my background. Duh. Oh, <laughs> I'm dumb. Dum 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 dum. Oh, look at that. She wears glasses. All right, we're going to change the color of those, honey, because I don't like those. We're just going to change the glasses in general. <laughs> so it's nice that she wears glasses during the nighttime, though. That's cute. Oh, she's got a strawberry necklace. I'm going to pink. All right, so Carly asked, we'll, we'll call Jasmine and Darwin Carly's grandparents now because at some point they will get married. I hope. <laughs> so she asked her parents, she's like, her grandparents, she's like, hey, can you help me pick out stuff too? They're like, sure, what are you interested in? She's like, well, a lot of people say I like skirts, and I do. So I kind of want something to do with, like, skirts or dresses. And they said, say no more, we're on the case. So they immediately took her out and got her, like, this really cute, uh, da la 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 overall dress and she adores it she's like oh my god it's so cute i love it she wears like these cute little black shoes with it and she, she's just in love with her clothes and for like she's just in love she loves noelle being around she's like maybe we have a different start maybe this is it Maybe we're finally going to start anew. Obviously for this, she wasn't going to wear any skirts. So she told her grandparents, she's like, please don't put me in like skirts for that. I have a gym. They're like, say no more. We got you. And for like nighttime, she told them, I want to be comfortable. And like they took her out. She and put her in, like, different clothes. And she said the onesie was the most comfortable. And they asked her what she wanted on it. And she said, kitty cats. She wanted kitty cats on her, on herself. And when they double-checked with her, she's like, eh, actually, spaceships. Space. She loves space. Especially since Noelle is an astronaut still. She's like, she listens to Noelle talk about the stories talk stories about it and she's like that's so cool I want to be a part of that someday 
Like, I want to see the stars, and I want to see this. I want to see that. And Noelle appreciates that. She's like, oh, my God, someone else actually appreciates what I'm doing. Other than my parents and Dwight, of course. Because if, in all honesty, her best friend doesn't even like it. Her best friend hates space, and she doesn't even know why. So... She's just like, mm, I guess I won't be talking to my best friend about my job anymore then. If she asks, I'll just say, good. And that's what she's done. She doesn't really talk about her job anymore to her best friend because her best friend just start, stops listening. Even though whenever her best friend starts rambling about her job, it's just nothing. All right. Anyway, guys. Here they are. Here's the new and improved Noel. Here's the new and improved Dwight. And here's the new and improved Carly. So I think what I'm going to do next episode is we're going to do a little bit of a gameplay in their in Noel's new home with her new family cuz the house will be updated on my own time. So we'll see how things go. Anyway, guys, if you love this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. And hallelujah to you. Bye.